All right, what is going on today, YouTube? Um, today we're gonna play some Jund White. Today I've got an IQ this weekend. And I'm testing. Um, I'm testing up a bunch of different shadow decks because I don't know which one I exactly want to play. Earlier today I played a Manamorpho Shadow and. While I was impressed with the gameplay of the deck, I was not impressed with how it had the sideboard. So I think I'm not going to play this one. Um, then I, after that, I played this five color shadow deck and five auto league with it, which I haven't five auto league with on stream for a while. It's, it's I don't know, streaming is difficult, but yeah, five auto was pretty impressive. And now we're going against the Jun. We're going to try this version of it. Just try one more of these and give it a whirl here. Um, oh, I have one sideboard card short. What was that? I know. I know, I got a sideboard card. What was that? Oh, it was not a piece of spot removal. Yeah, the fourth push. Okay, which one of the fourth push? I have three in the main deck. With two other pieces of removal spells and then two tar fires. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna jump into it, do another league tonight, figure out exactly what I'm doing here, and then get ready to hopefully win an IQ this weekend. I'd like, I'd like to get back on the invitational train. Um, invitational is a lot of fun. I've only been, well, I've been qualified one time, but I certainly had a good time while doing it. While we load up here. I'm just going to go grab a glass of water. My 5 my one trophy. Okay, I'm going to grab a glass of water and go with that. We're ready to play some First match of the day. <clears throat> oh, the quick parry. <sighs> Might want to fit a th third battle range in this deck somewhere. The main deck? I'm not sure. Cut my two Surgicals and one Lingering Souls for a Radiant Flames. Two Radiant Flames. Two Surgicals and then one other card that I can't remember off the top of my head. I do have 15 sideboard cards, right? But yeah, I cut it for another Rage. These two. I cut two Surgicals and a Lingering Souls. <coughs> World here, hyper. I recognize the name. This hand's good. Keep this. We'll be able to find a second land drop uh, through traverse or three draw steps. Then we can discard spell on one, play a large death shadow on two, more than likely. So we're gonna cycle this before. Yeah, so let's go. We don't want to hit another land for a little while, so I'm going to go get Overgrown Tomb. Okay, my discard spell is good. Alright, I'm going to take this Tide Hollow Scholar because I'd rather have one of my things get path than Tide Hollow Scholar because I can't. Answer it. I don't know. I don't think this is ENT, but I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to at least get like pinned and have that card be in there, then have them process it. <coughs> so 
So I could just take the, yeah, I'll take the path. <coughs> I'm going to play out a 3-3 shadow. The next turn we'll go double threat. So poor draw. Opponents looking like they're probably going to get steamrolled in this game. Don't get the stopping ground, get the tomb, play a 3-3, three, three, then we crack them for 5. <coughs> they're a bant deck, so they're a, they're a bant stuff deck, right? So we, we drew a spell, Tyler's card, okay. It's kind of annoying, but no matter what, we have a good turn next turn, so I'm not super worried about it. <coughs> Crack them for five, and then play a Tarmogoyf. So we know their hand. It's Windswept Teeth Forest. Alright, yeah. And the push. Which would have gotten this Delirium, which would have gotten this Fetch Land, and then we would have killed him. Okay, so against any tight Hollow Skuller deck, I want Team of Battle Rage, Maelstrom Pulse, and I assume this is something like a deck where some of our removal... I'm assuming they have, like... Because I didn't see a lot of what they're doing. I would assume that they've got a lot of little creatures. <clears throat> so I want ways to deal with little creatures. I probably don't want my little... I'll cut my Lilianas on the draw, because I think the rest of my deck is just, like, that good. Probably can shave on a Grim Flare because it dies could die to Radiant Flames. Um, and then I could cut my Inquisitions because they might have collected companies. I could see going like this because this answers collected company. More spot removal, Team of Battle Rage, and some of these. I can ditch one of these. I like to bring my Lilianas back in on the play probably. So let's see what this looks like for a curve. <clears throat> yeah, this looks good. This looks good to me. Five viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. Everyone's having a good night. Um, it's weak to a bird off the, like a one mana bird, but besides that, it's pretty good. And we can, you know, bob our way into a cantrip. They didn't have it. So we're going to fetch no matter what. This is going to be his Blood Crypt. Bobble them. I guess we'll wait on the bobble. Alright, Night, Night, Path. I guess we're going to take one night and then hope to find a way to deal with the other one. Night of the Reliquary is one of my favorite magic cards of all time. We'll do this on their upkeep. All right, there's the company. That's not good, so we can go fetch an overgrown tomb. Do and then we gotta deal with this knight and we gotta deal with this company, which isn't good. Our current situation is pretty rough at this point, but hopefully we draw we draw a way to deal with this. I would love to draw a collected company because I, I would or not collect a company. A uh, gosh, I can't think. I'd like to draw a way to deal with this and then another way, because I want to deal with this thing first, because this is going to break the game open. Could have been wrong for me to fetch there, purely, oh, my neck hurts tonight, purely because, like, it turns off Revolt, so Fatal Push isn't good here. Alright, I mean, that's, I would have rather that than, got really cracked for a million next turn. 
gonna take? We're gonna take seven. But at least the company's not coming down. We wouldn't beat the company. Alright, that's kind of irrelevant. Does the traverse doesn't do anything? At least now we can sit here and block this. We not block, and then next turn, unless this gives me delirium, which it gives me delirium, but I'm not going to. I guess they saw that. All right, so. I need to shock myself in order to double lock. Because they can just go sack a land, and if they draw another land, they can sack that, and then this is a seven exalted. I guess I didn't need to shock myself, but we're gonna be able to do night tricks actually here, so I did need to shock myself in order to have the night be large enough. Gosh, my neck is sore. Here comes our horizon canopy. So there's a chance that this night gets larger. They draw a they have to put two lands in the graveyard in order to have their knight be larger than my Death Shadow and Tarmogoyf. But that's unfortunately a trade that we would have to make. We'd have to get rid of this, this knight, even if it screws with us. Okay, we just want to sit on it. Which, unless this is a, unless they drew a collected company, we should be in good shape. And I'm gonna run head first in the company. Like, there's no sense not doing it. So they. And if you hit, if they hit, they hit. But barring a company, we should be, this attack should be pretty safe. Alright, grab him for 10. Now both creatures are lethal. Guess there's no need to. They know exactly what we have. There's another big knight. Okay. If they attack, I find a removal spell. They're, okay, so that's, that's bold. Because any rule. Now they die to any removal spell. Unless they have a path, but I can figure that out before I have to attack with my creatures, because I'll hit this, they'll flow mana. Yeah, that was bold. Fear Battle Rage kills them. That doesn't kill them. It does next turn, so they either need to present a blocker or figure something out. There's a blocker. But now we use a triple. Like, this knight's never going to get large enough unless they have a removal spell. Okay. Alright, we didn't bring in the ranger. I guess I just traverse for another shadow. Just get, like, huge dudes. I could street raid in order to find a removal spell or a team or battle rage. That seems better. Right? Because I go to three, block, block, block. Okay, I'm still good. So that makes my death shadow is larger than this knight. They can put two in. Now I can't take all the damage. So I guess we'll just play this and pass. It might have been better to go get another death shadow, but like if I find a removal spell for the knight, they're just dead. What do you got, man? You got Gavany Township. Alright. That's bad. I didn't think about that one. All right. Boys. Oh. <clears throat> I 
another night and a voice. So what are we looking at here? Or just go eat, eat, eat if they attack. Yeah. Alright, I might as well fat now, because then it leaves for hole. So if my opponent attacks with everything. Problem is I can only block three things. Unless I go get another shadow. I can push this, go get a shadow, block, 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 and then block and let this through for two. So that's the plan. This buys me a turn. So I don't know if this is right. So I could, here's the question. If I traverse for Death Shadow, play Death Shadow, one, two, three, four. It just gives me another draw step. I guess I might as well wait. If I had a Gore Clamp. Now we just need a way. We need to remove one more blocker. <clears throat> so you're gonna another ghost quarter, take out another red source, that would suck. Now this sits here, this gets here, this, this. One gets through and they have an A blocker. So an all-out attack doesn't make any sense. And then a partial attack doesn't make any sense because my death shadows just deal with whatever you're doing. Because these death shadows are huge. They need like, oh wow, okay. So I'm gonna put all three of these in front of one and then I'm gonna get, put this tarm away from front of another one. Because they can go, well, hang on. So they ghost quarter themselves this shadow becomes six, this thing becomes 16, 16. I think I just double block. If they attack with a voice, that's annoying because then I can't crack my fetch them. But stay base effects will keep my shadows alive. So they can make this 17. So I gotta put two in front of here and they make this 16. I gotta put Death Shadow and Tarmalite in front of here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they township. For seven, 16, 15. Goes quarter themselves. 18. Yeah, so I just gotta, I actually just gotta triple block and chump. Which kinda sucks. Because, right, because they put a counter, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 16, 15, put two more, 17, 18. So I can't put enough power in front of both of these to kill them. Because even if I put 17 power, they get over the top of that. I'm going to throw away my Tarmogoyf. Now Battle Rage kills them. Like we've got we have plenty of outs. Battle Rage kills them. Yeah, I mean Battle Rage still does it. I might as well uh, yeah, I might as well fetch now because I'm dead next turn.
Yeah. Didn't get it. It just needed the needed a battle rage. Battle rage would have done it. So maybe it was right for me to traverse for a shadow in the early game, but when I traversed for that street wraith, I just had so many apps that immediately won the game that I thought it was worth it. So I'd like to find some rooms for these Lilianas now. Now that I'm on the play. Maybe I can cut these radiant flames on the play because they go so large. Bring in like this and this. Maybe cut like a collective brutality to keep in a radiant flames. Nah, that doesn't seem as brutality seems better than radiant flames. Yeah, we'll go like this. <laughs> Heater. Double Death Shadow. Absolute Heater. Now we're probably, I think we're going to be able to at least overpower whatever our opponent's doing here. God, my next sword. A play, please. But we got a sketchy keeper. Let's let's give it a look. See, oh, that's a lot of three drops. We're gonna take this reflector mage so that we can pulse both knights. That's the game plan there. That's how we're going to draw it up. Burn catacombs. Oh, you drew a one drop. Don't you draw a bird. All right. Game on. Well, now it's going to at least line up better with my, uh, my maelstrom pulses. Because next turn, I'll traverse for a basic play another shadow, they'll play knight, and then I'll traverse, but then I'll, I'll maelstrom pulse them, just brrrr. There's knight. Okay. Traverse for... This will get a... F We're gonna swamp. Now I should have got a forest there just in case my opponent sees. But then again, they're not gonna go if they ghost corner me, I'll just go get my um if they ghost corner me, I'll just go get my forest. So it's not like I can get cut off like my the other deck can. I swear to gosh, my opponent plays a land and says go, I'm gonna cry. My best draw would probably be like a street wraith. Street wraith would be sweet. They have a lot, they have so many basics. God darn it. That means I hit a company. Got a company in my draw step, which makes sense. God, don't hit a tight hollow scar. Anything but a tight hollow color. Come on. Gosh darn it. Oh, this game's going to get harder. That being said, they can't really get frisky with the attacks. Boys. Okay. So they have Swamp, Night of the Road, something. So you gotta take the pulse, even though the battle rage could kill him pretty easy. Now my opponent can't even attack, because if they attack, they just grow all of my shadows.
Like, they basically can't attack until the Knight of the Reliquary is lethal. Ooze is bad. This is all bad. I gotta put some size on my shadows in order to be able to fight over the top of these knights, I think. But I need I gotta find a removal spell for this. If I can find a way to kill this, I'm in good shape. But if I don't kill this, then I'm not. Shape. At least if I like Radiant Flames is still pretty live. Like, what do I got here for? Put my love Radiant Flames in the graveyard. I was like, I'm a little play, the Liliana's are gonna be great. Okay. Opponent still can't attack because of how Death Shadow works. All my shadows will live, and then I'll just team up Battle Rage and run out of the game. I don't understand. Their last card must be Path to Exile for this to make sense. Which I'm gonna I'm gonna triple block one of these. Because the only card that would kill me would be Path to Exile. And Path to Exile doesn't even kill me. Well, it does kinda kill me because I'm obviously gonna battle rage something next turn. This is not how Death Shadow works, man. You gotta attack with more things. Nine points gets to me. My opponent's gonna learn a sad lesson. Unless I'm crazy, and I don't think I'm crazy. I could be crazy. This last card is gonna be Path to Exile. That was insane. Yeah, so we just turn them all sideways. Yeah, so the last card is definitely Path. They had the pass, so I guess their attack makes sense. It's still dangerous, like they could have just sat there and waited, but I guess they didn't have they could there's no way they could put it up. I guess they should have just sat there and waited, like they were gonna kill me anyways. But if I find a removal spell for this, then they probably get screwed there, so it is what it is. They're kinda like damned if they do, damned if they don't. I mean because I drew the Last, whatever it is, I drew the second battle rage. But it's a good way to start the league. A little 1 0 action. I would like to play first. Aether's tragic. See, it's pretty good. I'll keep this. I'm going to cycle on my main phase to hopefully hit a discard spell. Might hit a bottle also. Pond Mulligans, which is sweet. 
we're gonna land, we're just gonna go like, hopefully we're gonna go like, removal spell on one, just threat, 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 and win the game. That's our plan. Am I mulligan? Yeah, that sucks. That sucks! getting is tragic. Alright, so they kept and they put a card on top. Won't give away that we're the Jun Shadow deck yet, even though it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're playing against. I think we're playing against like a mono white deck, like a, a death and taxes kind of deck. And if that's the case, I'm just gonna get overgrown. Well, I might as well get blood crypt. We have another one, just in case we get shut off from fetching. Then I'm gonna play. I'm definitely gonna play Grim Flare. What are we waiting on them for? Come on, what are we waiting? Come on. You're killing me, Smalls. Gosh, we just have like the absolute sauce going on here. Alright, play Grim Flare. We can get in there. This flare is gonna set up our draws, and it forces him to path on his main phase. If he passes on his main phase, I can play two threats next turn. Also, if he's pathing on his main phase, he's not pathing the ability on an arbiter in play. Okay, so thing he's not playing. Pretty nice because we're gonna be able to go either Grim Flare, Death Shadow, or probably gonna play another. If I can get these Grim Flares Delirious, I'm probably gonna play another. Play. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm gonna get my Forest. And then I think I'm gonna play Grim Flare, Death Shadow again. Because I can clear the way for the Flare, and Death Shadow is bigger, and then the next turn I can go. I can go either, like, if I get in with my Grim Flare, I can go Double Goyf. Alternatively, I might just go Double Goyf anyways. And not hold up the Fatal, and not push something just because it's mana inefficient. These company decks are everywhere on Moto today. So this is, like, the third company deck I've played in three leagues. Oh, this is an Eldrazi deck. Oh, that's insane. I can attack with both. Tarfire him, and then this lives. Then if he doesn't block, I guess we're just gonna. Well, I would like my Tarmogoyfs to be larger than Reality Smashers. Right, and my everything to be larger than Smashers. So we'll just go like this. Could be dangerous. Now nah, I'm gonna just gonna go with the conservative. Just tar fire them. All right, we don't need. We don't really need any of these. Been a hot minute since I played against Van Eldrazi. Been a hot minute. All of our triggers are but my opponent plays a Reed. Okay. My opponent plays a uh, that grows time of life. They're in just chump block mode next turn. Like they have to chump no matter what. I remember when this deck used to be the king. This is, I thought this was the best deck in the format for a little while. But I guess like the Eldrazi deck has just passed it. You need a chump blocker, my friend. Now you need me to not draw a fetch land. So that blocks Tarmogoyf. Had I Tarfired myself, we'd have them dead, but... That kills them. Yeah. So 
super kills them. Get out of my house. All right, so against this deck, Tarfire, not great. I like Inquisition, but not a lot on the draw. Liliana Veil is probably also not good on the draw because they're going to have Eldrazi, just Eldrazi Sky Spawner. So let me think. I do kind of want another Battle Rage. A push. I think I want Ranger. I think we want to have the ability to go big. I guess I can leave a Tarfire in because it's a way to deal with um, where that dumb card is. Mobile Hierarch on turn one, and it still kills things. We got pushes, got a lot of removal, got some terminates. I think I like this set. I'm gonna look to bring my Liliana's back in on the play, but I just don't like them. Okay, kind of, I don't really think Lingering Souls is that good. Grim Flare also might not be great. It's kind of small. Grim Flare is just kind of a little guy. Like it, it, it either trades or gets blocked by everything. one of these guys and I want the decay and the pulse because I could have rest in peace after sideboard. On the play I'll probably cut my tar fire and then bring another Liliana back in. Probably maybe cut an Inquisition as well. I like the veils in the play but I really I think a theme of me playing with Liliana the Veil I do not like it very much in the draw but on the play I think it's very good. Keep in all my lands. I don't think Ranger's necessary. Well, I also could cut like a Traverse and then bring in a Radiant Flames, kind of clean up the flak. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know if that's right or not, but I'm going to give this a try because, like, they get a lot of Sky Spawners. You know, let's see, let's see what we think about this. Did I get the sideboard? Yep, just barely. I gotta ship my hand. Yeah, this isn't bad. We're not gonna get rest in peace, which is great, or thought not seared on two. Yeah, I mean whatever, like if we're gonna if we're gonna bring it in, we might as well draw it and see how it is. Okay. Overgrown Tomb. They they put a card on the bottom. So they're so far off casting Displacer that I think I'm just gonna take Ancient or Crossing Thrive Test. I think I'm just gonna take Ancient Stearns. Let them get their Eldrazi Displacer into play and then try to clean up with a little two for one. Probably get like a tap godless shrine. That's pretty good. It's actually not that good. We get swept up by radiant flames. So we'll play that afterwards. Take four, go to eleven. Hopefully they play something like a sky spawner. Don't play a thought knots here, for the love of God. Play like a Sky Spawner or another Displacer. Yes, the old three fur. And we make it to their two lands off the Rag Tusk. And we drew a Ranger for next turn. And we are curving out. So this gets. I'm just gonna get Godless Shrine because I wanna make it easier to converge. Okay, red, green, black. Get the old three fur. Who, mama? Sky Spawner's annoying, for sure. But not as annoying as our Death Shadow will be. 
We do need to protect our life total because they're going to crack us for five. This drag test is going to pad their life total. But next turn we get to go Shadow, Shadow, Grim Flare. So it's going to be a good turn for us next turn. We just need to like not die. We know they have a Thrag Tusk. It's a bold attack. So I can get the Thrag Dad on. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna... So we're just gonna start by attacking with our Ranger. And if they attack, it's actually, if they attack, then I get through for 10, 10 points. Of, so they, they block, they have to block here. They block this. Then I play Grim Flare. Block this. Next turn, the 3-3. The three, three. So I think I'm just serving with the team. Play a land just so that I can represent more damage. They block here 2, 10, 16. Then all of my creatures are lethal next turn. Though I guess. I guess I can attack with both of these. And then play flare. They go block, block, they go block, block, take. I guess it's still not enough. So I'm gonna leave back one creature to beat Path. Because, or I can leave back two and beat Drowner, but then this kills me. Let's block here, take 13. Yeah, we're just gonna. Turn them sideways. Now all of our creatures are lethal. We lose to Reality Smasher, Path to Exile, and Drown. But I'm alright with it. Besides that, we get it. They drew Dismember. Oh, wow. I guess it's good that I attacked with everything then. Didn't even think about that card. And that's why I think that that... I think that um, these Death Shadow decks have a good matchup against like the Eldrazi decks. Just because... They just have a good matchup against those decks purely because you can... You just... The advantage of that deck is they have undersized huge creatures. And you have undersized bigger creatures. So like you just take away the advantage that they have. Shadow PT. This guy's good, if I remember. You want the die roll? How lucky. It's alright. We get to go Thought Season or discard spell and removal spell. Or we get to go discard spell into Tarmogoyf. I bet this guy shows me humans. Oh no, I'm wrong. This guy could be like a control deck. This guy seems like a play smart kind of dude. And it's pretty good against control deck. Besides the abrupt decay, but there are some control decks that the abrupt decay is good. Good stuff. Oh, we're getting stuck. Ooh, we're playing a shadow mirror. Probably. Ooh. All right. This deck is getting popular. This will be the third time I played this today. Oh, what a luck set. Okay, so what they did, they ditched Goblin Lore, Swamp. So their hand's still the same. So there comes a Hollowed One and an Angler. So 
is a big star. At least we're going to be able to block. We're going to be able to block the uh, hollow one with our Tarmogoyf. And then we're going to be able to play Death Shadow after that. So I think I'm just going to fetch a basic and play this. So they got still have Stomping Ground Scalding Tarn. I think. No, they got rid of the Scalding Tarn. So they got still have Stomping Ground. That's going to be a good draw. So I think I still just get a Swamp. I could get another, I could get a Blood Crypt. I go to 14, he attacks me to 9. And then I can go Thought Seize, then play Death Shadow. And then I go to 7 and I have the biggest creature again. Yeah. Got big flooding. Okay. But yeah, Flame Wake Phoenix is gonna be bad for the home team. It looks like we're taking six. Because us the A. Traverse for a Death Shadow. Block, block, take four. And then we got to rip like Battle Rage. So I am going to traverse. I'm going to traverse for another land. Well, I could traverse for a forest. I'm going to traverse, traverse for a forest, traverse for a death shadow. I think I want more mana. There might be a, come a point where we want to, like, double spell. We died to a lightning bolt, but, like, such is life. I just eat both of these. I just block this. Then we can actually start attacking with this Death Shadow this turn. Which is good for the home team. It's going to be tough to win this one, though. Like, if we draw a Battle Rage, then we've got a good. We have a chance. Flame Blade Adapt. They did show Flame Blade Adapt. Street Red. Oh, here comes another Hollow One. What does that do? It doesn't do anything because we search for a basic forest. So I attack, block, block, we die. I guess I just gotta play out. Attack, attack, block, block, block. So I actually can get in with this shadow. Then play Goyf Shadow again. Put a little more pressure on our opponent. Can't attack with this because then the lose. That's it. Oh, maybe. You gonna go for a double lock? What are you gonna do, bud? Double lock's risky. So I can't. 
I think I'm just going to move both of these hollow ones in front. Get both of these off the battlefield and then play another, then play Tarmogoy's Death Shadow. Then next turn, terminate, and then swing in for the game. Let's my opponent's got a lightning bolt, which they can easily have. They haven't seen a lightning bolt yet. I'm it out. All right, so now they're going to shrink. They're going to shrink my Tarmo Wave here with another Delve card. Okay. So I'm going to take two, terminate one, and if I attack with everything, then I'm good. Block, 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 hit. Let's see what they're drawing before we do anything. Goblin lore. Goblin lore makes this huge. But I can just go block, block, terminate. No, I need to be able to put three. I have to be able because I gotta I gotta be able to terminate this and then block everything on the ground. And I can't do that. So I just gotta pass. Chump, hopefully with this block here. Yeah, we still can't attack. Land's no good. Okay. They just a lightning bolt, which is sweet. team. take this hit here. Take this, they have to chump. And then we can go block, 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 take two though. I basically, I think I need to draw a battle. I don't think there's any other way out of this. So I guess Terminate this, then all these creatures are lethal. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go to draw Battle Rage. I'm gonna terminate one of these anglers. Now, if I had terminated this, then attacked with everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead, but if I had terminated this, then it just brought it back, which would have given me another turn, but it would have attacked with everything. They'd have had to block this, and then they could have let all the goifs go. Yeah. Close game. We just needed a battle rage. Battle rage, and we got it, but we didn't find it. We didn't find it, boys. 
go here, here. I don't really know what else I want here. The tar fires don't seem great. The Lilianas are kind of like mediocre as well. Lilianas aren't great because of uh, Flame Wake Phoenix and Bloodgast. I want all my discard. I could like cut all these and bring in Lingering Souls. I play around Blood Moon also. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring in Souls. Bring these, go switch these five for these five. At least I can cast Souls out of the graveyard. I think like maybe I can cut a Fatal Push and bring in a Ranger to go big. Just like try to muscle them, find more Death Shadows. Nah, we're gonna, well, on the play I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's right or not, but but we're kind of we're kind of stuck between a rock and a, I don't like playing it. Like sometimes I feel like I should play Ancient Grudge against this deck. I don't know if I should do that. All right, we got three quarters of the way to Delirium. We're gonna keep it, and plus we're probably gonna lose our hand anyways. And Mulligan, nice. I can't put a card on the bottom. This goes and gets Overgrown Tomb. We bobble them. Layer on top. Start off with this because we want to hit a delve card with this one. So I could just hit all the creatures. Which I'm kind of all about. So let's take the Flame Blade Adapt, and then I'll take the Angler next. We hit another land, which is sweet. Hello, well, viewers. I hope everyone's having a good time tonight, hanging out. My name is Dylan Hubby. You guys have uh, wandered onto my stream, my little corner of the internet. I hope everyone's having a good time tonight. Streamed earlier. Streamed a list, this shadow list earlier. Flame Wake Phoenix, Black Blue Crystal. This. Take out this angler. So my opponent can goblin lore or burning inquiry. I wouldn't mind a burning inquiry. I'd like to keep one chat, one of these traverses, but or one of these rages, but discard another one. Graveyard hate's not even good against this deck, right? Like, it's good against one half of it, but it's not great against the other half. Ditch the hollowed one. They have a blood gas. Don't find another hollowed one. They didn't ditch their inquiry. They still have brain inquiry. Alright, we're gonna go down to 12. And then get a blood crypt. We are gonna shock ourselves. Alright, that's not bad because it's at least going to give me Delirium. Like, I'm just going to point that at the first thing that I can. Because it's going to let me get Death Shadow into play. I probably should actually held my land because I could have seen this coming. Now I'm going to leave this in play probably. Maybe they'll flash back their looting, which I would like a lot. Be all about that life. Okay. Leyline Street Wraith. They still have the Burning Inquiry. Okay, so I'm gonna just push this to get Delirium. It is not great, but it is the life we live. We're gonna leave this in the play. I'm going to leave this swamp in my hand in hopes that I can keep at least a Battle Rage after this Burning Inquiry. Mm -hmm. 
Well, what do you do against Tron? Asking because of your sideboard. You just try to go over the top and kill Tron. Like, it's not, I, it's not, I hate traversing for Fulminator Mage because it's too slow. Like, uh, but, wow, nothing? That's interesting. That's pretty good. So we get in here for four. This goes and gets another green land. Like, I would, I would, if I, if I, like, cared enough about, the problem is, is, like, I just don't care enough about Tron, you know? Like, I don't think, I don't think it's particularly good, and I don't think that it should, uh, I don't think it's particularly good in a wide open field with so much combo. Like, it did well with the Pro Tour, but, like, that's the Pro Tour. It's different, you know? I think if I was, if I worried about Tron, I would play the five color version of Counter Spell. Counterspells is a better way. Um, Counterspell is a better, or not Counterspell. Um, Counterspells are a better way to fight that deck than land destruction. So they hit the burning inquiry and they ditched the hollow one. Oh, it's BGH Madness. BGH Madness in the house. They kind of have to toe the line though, because if they, if they hit my Tarmogoyf and attack, then I get to kill their... They hit my Tarmogoyf and attack, they're dead. Even through a block. I got the third Battle Rage, which is going to help, you know, like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, say it's, it's great. But for the amount of medic, for the amount it's worth, I just don't think it's the best way. I don't think this non-blue version has a good way to fight it. There's an angler. It could be annoying. Though if he attacks me, he is digging for those hollow ones. Blood gas comes back. Attack, you're dead. I mean, they could have a fatal push, I guess. They have a fatal push, I'm dead. Wouldn't likely. No, well, that's gonna give me some play with it, so. I mean, we're casting this no matter what. Didn't need the second strike. All right. Um, on the draw. I don't even know really what else I would want. Like, Brutality doesn't even hit Goblin Lore. Basically, on the draw, we're going to lose this deck to my draws. It's probably like the pull of the deck. I probably can ditch this and bring this. Maybe I should bring in like an Ancient Grudge because it hits Hollow One, but that seems pretty narrow. Here. But then again, we don't even know what our hand is. So, like, here we go. Oh, my way then. All right. Let's check out what they got cooked in here. Hollow One. That's scary. Go get Overgrown to Damn it. You're gonna be able to play a hollow one no matter what. God, they're gonna be able to crack me for a million too. So they hit me for four. I could just take this bolt, as mopey as that sounds. 
because I just want to protect my life total. I think I'm just gonna take a lightning bolt because this is gonna hit me for four, for three, maybe five. Then they flash it back. They play Hollow One, so I'm at twelve. Play Death Shadow next turn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this bolt. As mopey as that sounds. I'm in trouble though. The double, the double discard was like a little back breaking. I mean, Thoughtseize like is probably kind of bad, but. Big ditch two flame links, there's hollow one. Missalandra. Missalandrop one time. One time. Wow, they did, okay. So now we take the other face of saluting and play Death Shadow. goes against Blood Crypt. Whew. Oh, are you kidding me? God, the third looting. At least we're going to play some big Tarmogoyfs here. But that's just like, bleh. we're going to lose to these freaking Flame Wake Phoenixes. Hey, Bulldog. Oh, that's gross. Maybe they'll miss the land drop still. Both angler, they both ditch both the anglers. So they're just on this plan. So they're gonna crack me. Battle rage. Yeah, that just that kills me. Couldn't get out ahead of this because that now like this attack with block here and take three. Yeah, I mean that that faithless looting hit there was pretty savage. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. My name is Dylan Hubby and I am a sponsored streamer with the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, you guys check them out. If you have any Magic Online stuff, they're the best bot chain around. Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York that also sponsors me. It's where I learned to play. <laughs> they're uh, they are they sell at uh, they buy and sell at pretty cheap prices because they foster like a college environment. There's four colleges up there, so they're a great place to buy from. They're working on their they're redoing their website, so I'll have that up as soon as possible. If you want to check any of my stream archives, you can go on YouTube and you can connect with me on Twitter to talk about magic. It's my preferred social media platform. Bring back good times. Yeah, that was some GG's. Like, I'm not sure there was much I could do besides, like, win the die roll. My hand's affinity. My hand's not really great against affinity. The deck's not super great against affinity game one, but we do have some, we do have some game after sideboard. All right, so we can do the bobble trick. This means we have Delirium on one, which is nice. Liliana, we don't want that. So why do we have Blood Crypt? This hand suggests they have a payoff. Okay, Edge Champion, Steel Overseal Crane. Okay, so we have this. We can't check the Edge Champion. 
We can kill all of his creatures. Yeah, I guess we're going to take Edge Champion. Because they play Steel Overseer next turn. We get rid of it. They play Steel Overseer the next turn. Then we get rid of it. They don't have enough mana to play. Unless they want to play Cranial Plating and not play to the board. And nothing wrong. I used to play that when I was little. When I was a little tyke. Don't have another creature. Don't have another creature. Means they get to play another plating. Play plating. They probably play another steel over here. That's all right. They are gonna get to crack me for a little bit, but so I can play Tarmogoyf. or I can push one of these. I think I want to just push one of these and then play a tap land. Get cracked. But it's just only getting cracked for one, two, three, four, five. So that's not too bad. Six. They might not even attack me. Yeah, they're not even gonna attack. I'm just definitely gonna terminate this. Then I'm going to play another tap land. We might just run them out of threats. No, we were already through a bunch of our main deck removal. So know, hopefully this Grim Flare takes us to the promised land. There's moving this. Okay. One with the white around it. That is some old stuff, my friend. So this is always not bad, because we can trade with this next turn. So I actually play Death Shadow and Grim Flare. Because I'm going to want to attack with Grim Flare next turn. I'll just, I'll just trade my Death Shadow with this Mem Knight if I get the opportunity. I would hate to see like an Arcbound Ravager or an Edge Champion. Edge Champion would probably be game over. Alright, and I'm just going to block with this. I might fetch. I'm not gonna fetch shocks. It puts me to four. I'll just trade this if they want to gal blast my Grim Flare. Then like that's okay. I want to get in with Grim Flare. That's not good. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So we just need to stack our deck with just removal spells. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it doesn't have any power, it doesn't kill us. But then an artifact kills us. We need them to draw like a spire of industry. But we're gonna die. Yeah, that's that's our that's our out here. We need to just keep anything on our deck that kills a creature, then hope our opponent misses. None of those things kill a creature. Play this. Then pass. Oh, that flyer sucks for the home team. Because now they have just like. They literally need to draw like Spire of Industry. That's I think that's the like the only draw that doesn't kill me. I can't even like battle rage my way out of it. What did they draw? 
destroy a Galblast. Maybe they, they draw they drew literal spiral this industry. Mistress Bobble wouldn't be a bad draw. Why don't you just play that before combat? Then just like kill me. Man. I should have done this after combat. So we need him to block with one. Because he can move the plating at instant speed. And he like electrolyze. Which isn't in our deck. I mean, we'll just hope. The old white moth. So we're just going to let him attack. Hopefully he only attacks one. He's going to attack with both, but like it's our out. Way. Yeah. And the reason why that had to happen is because even if we push this before combat, they move. Do they just move the cranial plating? So we we had to we had to hope they only attacked with one, which I thought he was going to do for a second. Oh, thank you, Bulldog. I didn't see it there. I try not to, I keep my volume on low because, uh, because of my YouTube videos. If I don't have my headphones in, then it comes off bad in the YouTube. Okay, so we want this, this, so we want 10 cards. I like cutting, I always like cutting these seven, and then I cut the rest well, I like to keep. I like to keep two street wraiths in. So maybe I want all these though. This is this is weird. I might have to work around my sideboard a little bit. Because if I cut, I guess I can afford to cut my street wraiths because I have tar fires to help with delirium. Like he's gonna do the damage for me. The tar fires will help get me to delirium. I like this. 15 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good night tonight. I appreciate y'all for hanging out here on my Twitch channel. We're just going to tabernacle him. Cast the old Kataki. Kataki plus Radiant Flames is a bit of a Nambo. First one's going to come into play. I think I'm going to go untapped, untapped, and then wait. Oh, you're going to have to pay for that next time. You're going to have to pay for that, too. Hopefully he doesn't have a Gal Blast. Oh yeah. Go get Godless Shrine. We're gonna put these into play tapped because the odds are is that he's gonna have, if he doesn't answer this, he's gonna get us low enough. This gets Stomping Ground. Tabernacle. <laughs> I 
we'll clip that. We'll we'll uh we'll, we'll catch this. We'll, we'll clip that. Tabernacle's too good. Hopefully we get to tabernacle them on two. That's the plan. I'm gonna go put my slippers on. My feet are kind of cold. All right. This is a good hand. We have discard spell into ancient grudge into lingering souls. I hope their last card's good. Take it. We're gonna be able to slog through this, I think. Like we're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to get through this. That's sad. Yeah, we've got the tools that we actually have the tools to win this game. Because, like, one side of this trades here, this trades here, this trades. Unless my opponent just goes crazy and tries to kill me quickly. Which they probably do this. Crack me for two. I'm going to, in combat, get one of these. Just to take it out of combat. Tarmogoyf on top. We're going to want Tarmogoyf, so I'm going to... I don't know when we're going to have time to cast it, but we are going to want it. We're actually going to be able to cast it next turn. Moto's a little laggy. I'll probably restart Moto here after this match. With Link Moros. Uh, Because Radiant Flames hits things that are X3s. That is what I Okay, so we're just gonna use this now. We'll get stomping ground. This either saves me damage or it trades with a welding gun one or two. They might just move it over here and then just deal with it there. Okay. So regenerate takes it out of combat, so we just take one. Unless they want to move crap over, which would be just not great. Those are double red, which is not easy. So I think I'm going to cast this now here, make them make a move. Like show me what you're doing with this. Then fetch a godless shrine and play a death shadow. Then we've got the tools to win this game. Because we're going to race with our opponent. We're just probably going to win the race. Right? Go 
English fine, where are you? Get our homeboy into play. Yeah, I've liked Radiant Flames. I've played it a couple times in these decks. Like, it does suck that it doesn't hit like Edge Champion, but you know, you can't always hit everything you want. But yeah, no problem marking spots. No problem at all. So now we just attack and play Lingering Souls. If they crack me for two, we just hit back. I could play Tarmogoyf. Now I'm definitely going to play Tarmogoyf. Hold up the old Fatal Push. Fatal Push something. Take a little bit of damage. We basically need to, like, not get got by... Like, Ravager. Or not Ravager. Edge Champion. Edge Champion gets us. Do that little Tarmogoyf that we scribe was going to get at some point. The old little Tarmogoyf. The old cutie little Tarmogoyf. Look at this guy. This guy's cute. Alright, nice. So I'm going to push this inside of combat. There's no sense taking 6 damage here. We can just take 3. But then we crack them for 12. I guess if we let them attack. Yeah. It's the beginning of combat. I mean, sure, we can let them do 2 damage to us. Wow, nothing. Alright, well. We're going to use our mana. We're not cracking this, but we can at least make him think about it. Send a message. I'm just going to play Lingering Souls. Probably should have cracked there to get a tap land. Just because I was going to do it anyways. Yeah, I missed a point. Missed a point, which is stupid. I still don't really see how we lose, but that was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Going for the 4 1. Here we go. Last match of the night. Am I gonna play this or a five color build that I streamed with earlier today? I don't I don't know. I like both of them. They're both pretty good. Mm. I think I have to mulligan this hand. This hand's like there's just not enough room interaction. Not much better, but I want it on six. Playing these humans, yeah, we're so we're super dead. Oh, playing its elves, we're probably even deader. Even more dead. No, sir, I live down in DC. I'm gonna go to an IQ. Alright. That'll do. So this goes against a blood crypt. We get this out of here. But then hopefully somehow we get we get an out. We 
we get an out. We get ter- hopefully we get some way to like cast this terminate, and then maybe this Liliana will do something. Like this Liliana actually might be decent if we can go terminate and then on an open board. All right. Yeah, we might be able to get some good value out of this. Uh, this here, Liliana's, which it's important that when you're playing matchups that aren't great, like Liliana is not very good in this matchup. I think you have to work to compensate that by fighting to get some value out of it. Now, like here, here it just curves out that I get value. But there's a lot of times I'll be playing a matchup where Liliana's not great, and I'll just, if I have the option to like do something or make a good play with Liliana, I'll just do the play with, like, I'll just get value out of Liliana. Because I get it while I can take it. Like, beggars can't be choosers. Play this, because there's no need to take too much damage. We don't have a lot going on yet. We must have, like, mono companies in their hand, which we're not ever going to be. But that's, that's where this game's going. We get back to Voted Druid. So we're probably just going to tick up and tick down. Okay. Well, now we're actually going to tick up. And then Traverse for Grimflare. Grimflare is going to be great here. The Summoner's Pack. Holy shnikes. Player is going to at least find us some removal. And we're going to have to grind this one out for sure. Worst case scenario, he's got Path also. Bing, Edict, Tick Up. That sounds like gas. So let's attack first. Our three brutality of cyber are going to be amazing. Anything we any, just remove. Tarmogoyf is good. It's not removal, but it is a big boy. Make sure we cast it off this. Stomping ground. My girl. Just want to do that singing like my girl, my girl, my girl. Talking about my girl. So Liliana is. He's like a hyper version of this. He's got summoners packed up the wazoo. Attack with this first. I think we're just going to edict this. We're just going to chew through all of his creatures. We're just looking for removal spells. Just absolutely work this guy over. Our is a 7-8. Big old goif. We win game one, this is gonna be great. Because we have a sick sideboard in this matchup. Man, we have been doing some winning today. Alright, so. We want our brutalities are great, our radiant flames are great, our maelstrom pulses are fine. They're a piece of spot removal that we'll at least use. They're the it's like the seventh car. It's like the eighth car. I'm not super excited about it, but like we'll do it. I don't want this. I don't really like Tarmogoyf in matchups like these. We have the Grim Flares that are better, so I think you can actually get away with cutting a Tarmogoyf. 
And then I could actually see just cutting all four of my discard spells from my Inquisition. It's the cards that don't hit Collected Company. Yeah, I think I like this. We just don't need all of our Tarmogoyves. Tarmogoyves is like the weakest threat we have in this matchup. So yeah, we're going to go like this. Don't be afraid to board out a Tarmogoyve when you play this deck. Especially if you have Grim Flares. Or against like combo decks that aren't going to kill you. It, it's like, it's not necessarily like, you know, a sin to do that. So we got to turn two. If we draw a land, this hand's really good. And if we don't draw a land, we can traverse for a swamp. So I'm going to keep this. I think this is better than a random set. We can play a flare on two. And we could draw a tar fire. Like any land's good. Okay. Wow, all right. That was pretty sweet. I was just hoping I don't get run over here. That would have been a black land. I could have played a death shape. Would have been nice. Shaper's Sanctuary. That's bad. I'm not talking about cards I can't beat. That right there is one of them. There's a Dwayne's Elite Devoted Joke. Okay. Alright. How am I winning? I mean, we're winning by me finding a team or battle range. That's how we're doing it. My opponent's got three cards. I'm just going to assume they don't have it. I don't think I can play around it. I'm just going to play it, get a Death Shadow, get a 5-5 five, five into play. Next turn, like, Thought sees them and play a Grim Flare. Crack them for eight. Radiant Flames would be great. Okay. Ooh, they have to make three man off this? It's not bad. Another one, okay. They're gonna have about four million mana. Alright. So what do we got here? Block, take, three, six. Block, block, take six. Yeah, so I guess I just gotta play Grim Flare. Block two of their big creatures. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't even see this fatal push. I'm just tweaking out all over the place. Yeah, I guess we're gonna we're gonna like deal with our sins next turn. It's getting late. This is my first big dirtle mess up of the night. Which, you know, happens to the best of us. That's a lot of mana. We'll concede this game. Yep, they got it. And if I had killed one of these, I'd have been I'd have been able to deal with it, I think, but. Again, we're just going to keep the same thing. Cards that are good in the draw in this matchup are also good in the play. Like, we've got eight, 12 pieces of spot removal, two pieces of mass removal, and three rages. There's one of them. Speak of the devil. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to play the polluted delta and then pass. Probably get green black, then get green red. That's tilting. So now I'm just going to duress them with this brutality. Death shadow. Okay, so this goes against stomping ground. And we'll just see what they got going on. Hopefully we can add like a company or a cord. 
Nope, we just got creatures. All right. I mean, the odds are this, this radiant flame is going to do some serious work. Now, if I draw a fetch land here, I might play my Death Shadow. If I don't draw a fetch land, I'm probably just going to Radiant Flame the board. Yeah, I got to just Radiant Flames here. Because the problem is... The problem is, is if I... No, actually... Hang on. I can play Death Shadow. All right, here we go. I can play Death Shadow, Battle Rage it to get Delirium, untap, fetch Shock, go traverse for a fetch land, make my Death Shadow large enough to live through Radiant Flames, then hopefully get one more card out of my opponent. But we're going to have to Battle Rage my Shadow, unfortunately. Because we can't, we're, like, we need Delirium. I'm gonna feel like such a jerk if I draw like a bobble or a fatal push. Like I'm just gonna like I'm gonna be so sad. But I think it's what we gotta do. It's gonna give us it's gonna get us another card out of this thing. Yeah, let's see, there's the George. Now we're gonna get a three for one. At least. We're gonna get a four for one. This is just like backbreaking. Get this in the graveyard. Ooh, I did their creature so they wouldn't kill it in response, not thinking. Because that's just like what you do sometimes, like twisted image and such, but maybe it's drawn to the card, which is gross, so you're just online. Oh, hope we don't draw. Traverse. Go get a fetch land. This gets blood crypt. Radiant Flames. Get the old Forfer. Which they'd be much better if I had my. If I didn't. If I had a. What is this? This is jolly, just like a. Eternal Witness. Probably gets back like Dwayne's Elite. I, gotta, I have to hurry up and kill them. Yeah. They're just going to try to go wide. We almost hit the wrong button there. At least we drew another creature. So, like, we're going to be able to put some serious pressure on them. Like, they're going to have to start chump blocking pretty soon. Seems like my opponent's cool. We're having a chat about my team or battle raging their creature. So there's that. So we're just going to just turn them all sideways. Probably the rest of the game. Just try to abyss my opponent. That's not bad. So you have to block at least two, or they're like in trouble next turn. Okay, no need to fetch. We got a cord. Let's get them another elf, because right, this is an elf. 
which means they're going to be able to start regenerating a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't get a Heritage Druid. Maybe they didn't have... Yeah, I think Heritage Druid was the card to get there. I don't know. Gets back cord. We need to find a battle rage pretty quick or another radiant flames. So he's just trying to flood the board. That's not bad. So now he has to block both my shadows. that and then we just turn them all sideways again two four six we gotta throw at least the they go block block I take five still good then they go to two and they have to just block everything again okay I just want as many elves in play so that if they draw I guess a Whatever it is, is a lethal draw. They draw Cord. Now Cord doesn't do it. Company could do it. Okay, that's what they drew. All right. So they need to. They attack me with two, and then they jump block with everything. So they jump block across the board. Then they need another pump effect to kill me. Oh man, we're playing some edge of our seat magic here. Block everything. Then we just hope. Hope our opponent misses. I got him. All right, you got the 4 1. Well, let's look at the deck here, chit chat about what we thought. I like this deck, it's consistent, you know. Let me go turn that off when I finish up here. Deck's, deck's really consistent. It's the most consistent Death Shadow deck that I play. I think I like this build too. The only other thing, I might want to cut like a Fatal Push or a Tarfire for a third Battle Rage. Which I would just put another Lingering Souls in the, side, in, the main, in the sideboard if I did that. But I'm not sure. But I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. And if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. You can find all my archives on YouTube, which is linked below. So I hope everyone has a good rest of their night and take it easy.